Hi my friends, I'm Amira Adil. We used to hear from our ancestors that red mercury extends life, strengthens health, and cures any disease. Are these sayings true? And does red mercury really exist or a myth? After researching this topic, I read that red mercury is a substance of uncertain composition used in the creation of nuclear weapons. A nuclear chemistry doctor confirmed the existence of red mercury, and the substance is a mixture of mercury and antimony. And when the two materials interact, a radioactive liquid is produced that is used in uranium enrichment and making nuclear weapons. The scientific formula for the red mercury is HG2SB207. The first people to use this substance were the Soviet Union, and it's considered the most expensive substance in the world. The price of a gram of it is millions of dollars. Many rich people were defrauded when they wanted to buy red mercury. In most cases, swindlers sold them a fake red liquid as red mercury for many millions. And I know many scam stories about this. If you want me to tell you these stories, write to me in the comments. The strange thing I heard is that some people think that it's used to harness the gen. The ancient Egyptians were the first to know how to manufacture red mercury. And they used to put it in the elephant's tooth and then put it in the throat or intestines of the king's mummy, believing that it would bring him the jinn to help him protect him in the next world. At the beginning of July 2018, a mysterious sarcophagus was discovered in Alexandria in an area called Sidi Gaber, and when they found the coven, everyone thought it was the sarcophagus of Alexander the Great. But when they opened the coven, it turned out that it was in the coven of Alexander the Great and they found skeletons and red liquid that smelled very strange. Everyone thought that this liquid was red mercury. Many people wanted to drink this liquid, saying that they are responsible for what happens to them after drinking the liquid. But after examining a sample of the liquid, it turned out to be sewage, which entered the coven through the small hole on top. And the liquid was disposed of by putting it in gallons and pouring it on the streets as you can see. By asking Dr. Zay Hawass about the tomb of Alexander the Great, he confirmed that Alexander the Great was buried under one of the ancient Alexandria houses and not in Syria as some claim. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and activate the bell button to receive my new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.